the last game of the night, or I'm like, anyway, is upon us here as it's now, of course, the last 10 minutes of play here in this play versus preseason matchup. Saints had themselves a much, much stronger game number six. But now, one more time here. Where are they going to go? It looks like they're going to go back to what has been working for them in the past, I do believe. Hop in right away and loot up as much as possible. Because I do believe, actually, there were other teams not too far away from their location. I'm gonna hop into the Rocket League car to start things off and get things moving. It looks like they're actually gonna get aggressive on the team that did land somewhat near them as well. As Lasix is already here. Now Syrian position to get the jump on them. Going to find the elimination. That's gonna be two now into the pocket of St. Clair as I think Lasix found one as well up in the top. Now, there's only one other teammate more than likely somewhere nearby, unless that teammate just ran for the hills. So, good opportunity for the Saints to capitalize on, as, of course, did spot the team coming down in the same similar area. That team did back off and end up going to the house. But yeah, just grab up enough weapons to get into the fight and get the jump onto them. Don't let them get comfy. Not in the slightest. Takes care of them. That was definitely a rough one there for everyone who predicted against the Saints going into that last one. As they, of course, do make it into the top 10. So nobody going to be getting any points here today on that one. However, going into this final one, let's take a look. What do we want to do for this final battle? We're going to go big. Will the Saints end it with a win? Firing that one off, of course, may be a stretch. I know they have had themselves a little bit of a harder time in the last couple of rounds, exception of that last one, where, of course, they were able to get themselves into third, but to get themselves a victory for Real, some of you might be thinking that I'm uh, stretching it, but you never know. They've done it already once tonight. I know everybody's getting exhausted, myself included, but I have faith in these players that they can get themselves up there once again. Well, that's a nice little present there for Siri. Going to find himself an epic version of that heavy assault rifle. Of course, he had himself the legendary one last time, but hey, getting the purple version is definitely solid as well. All Saints 100-100 in regards to their health and their heals, of course. Still have a bunch of shields available as well. And oh, one more chest. What do we got? Even more. Little small potions. But I hear they only want your strongest potions. The weak ones only take up inventory space. Okay, so basically at this point here, Siri has the loadout that he absolutely loves to get. Two things of utility, a sniper rifle, assault rifle, shotgun. He's good to go. 
You might want that sniper. Yeah, I was going to say, pick that back up before you run it over. <coughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Loki thought that uh, Siri was going to roll it there for a second, but everything's oh, a okay. Going to try and pick up uh, LASIK so they can start moving towards this next eye of the storm. LASIK is just going to pick up his own ride. a okay with that, so... Making noise, farming up as best as possible as well. Got concerned at first once I heard the uh, engine, but yes, of course, Lasix has his own ride, duh. Makes sense. And of course, because Siri was able to find some gasoline, this truck is going to be able to go for a while before having to either find some more or you're going to have to abandon it. So going to be able to make themselves get to that Eye of the Storm nice and quick. <laughs> While they drive on into the site, let's take a look at where our prediction stands. As of right now, it looks like about 60% of you think that the Saints are going to end it off with a bang and get themselves the Victory Royale. Absolutely love the optimism, and we know this team can do it. So, looking forward to seeing how this one does end up completing. Where's the switch? Find the garage door opener first. <laughs> When's the next live stream? The next live match after this Fortnite match, you will be able to see us again tomorrow at 6.30 as we're going to have some NECC Overwatch action. Yeah, Saints found themselves a pretty comfortable spot here, so let's see. How's everybody doing? I died to a bug. Unfortunate, I didn't see that spot. That must have been where, uh, in the last game where you went down by the tower. Makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, Saints are definitely doing a fantastic job overall. The fact that they are in the top 10 at worst here amongst hundreds and hundreds of schools is absolutely amazing. I completely agree with you, Sammy. Hopefully have Rogue Company once again. I'll see if the club picks it up and then I'll definitely keep my eye on it. Obviously can't promise anything, but definitely love to see it. Yes, yeah, so Saints basically all farmed up, good to go. Something just happened to Lasix, however. Does end up finding trade kill onto somebody, however. Knocks him down, at least. Doesn't quite get the points for it just yet. Juni and Lasix are going to hunt all over in the open, actually. So it is going to be able to Saints gonna be able to take the card more than likely. Yep, sure enough. And finish off the player. Sure enough, that's going to be the case. Elimination number three here for the St. Clair squad in game number seven. Shout out to the fact that that guy's skin made him look like a crash test dummy. And then once again, Saints find themselves in a very comfy spot, so pretty much dead center of... The eye of the storm. Don't have to worry about it moving on them anytime soon. And they're going to be able to catch a lot of these people who are zip, zip, zipping around here with those uh, anime crystals. So, looks like Siri actually wants to go hunting right here 
has the rifle ready to go. <laughs> Trying to find the angle, might be able to find that one player. Little bit more, Spostum takes the shot, not going to make contact. None of those assault rifle shots are going to make contact either, so now Siri exposed, but the rest of his team is at least right around the corner. Finds one shot, dodging the bullets until that one does take a shield. Right above him, trying to catch up to the player. Where did he end up going? From below, it looks like. Some decent shots now coming out here from Siri to tag them down for at least a little bit of their shield. Can they capitalize? Will another team get involved to shut down the engagement? Doesn't look like it's going to be the case. It's going to be Siri going point blank here with the opposing squad. Going to take care of them. Another two more eliminations in the book. And they have another player trapped on the other side as well. Going to be able to hunt them down probably rather easily. You see Siri whipping out the crowbar to make sure that uh, break through. But it hopefully doesn't blow himself up in the process. Not going to be the case. It is going to be finished off here. As I believe that was Lasix. No, it is Juni who finished him off. So, Saints, to recap here, five eliminations total in game number seven already. They're right around points where they are, they would be considered the top ten. But so far, so good. There's also much, of course, the fact that we're already down to 38 players here in this game goes to show how much quickly or how much more aggressively people were playing the later this night goes on because of course we did just hit timeout you die now you can't start another game it is 11 o'clock so this is the final match no matter what a huge flank here by siri and the rest of the squad are going to come on down and take them down do a little dance after getting taken down from both sides the BM is real, but in the most Fortnite way possible. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm going to take it down, then I'm going to use your fort for my own. It looks like it's the strategy here for St. Clair. Plenty of a weaponry around them, so they're going to be able to take their pick of the litter. And they're in the safe zone already. Eye of the Storm in their favor. Can they find anybody... As they try to cross, there is somebody not too far along. It was just in the sight line there of Siri. Definitely here, yes, Sammy. Can't wait for the arena as well. Looking forward to being able to put on these shows. But at uh, an arena like that. 2022 slash 2023 can't come sooner as we do see the snipe coming on here from Siri. Tries to get the jump onto one of those players, but the shot's going to just barely go wide. Saints in solid position, of course. We're starting to see more and more of these players trickle in. Can he find the snipe? The player does have the dash crystals. Not going to get the contact necessary to take them down. Of course, very difficult. You have to try and time that snipe with where they land after their dash, but... Not exactly the easiest thing to do. Two members now in the site here of uh, of Siri. One player just going to bounce himself aside off the off the bounce pad. And looks like the rest of the teams are going to try and take advantage of that as well. Really trying to stay quiet here. Shots fired. Not going to find contact. Really trying to make this work. Shots fired all over the place now. It's going to start getting messy. Maybe chaos time comes a little bit early here today. Definitely seems like it takes forever for these sniper bullets to actually make it to their target. It's 
weird seeing a sniper rifle be more of a projectile rather than a hit scan, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Definitely not a bad thing, however, especially in a battle royale. Otherwise, you would just be running across the the field and your game would just end. And that's that's no fun for anybody. Except for the guy sniping. Next storm location was not exactly in the favor of St. Clair, so they're going to start trying to tunnel their way there. They are back, of course, right around the Colossal Coliseum, which means some of these sand patches are definitely going to become available as well. Or just find yourself some crystals and try to dash your way there. However, they're dashing right into the fray, as we do see two, three sniper towers, plus maybe three or four teams. They're getting in there, they're getting dirty, and we're going to have ourselves a skirmish. Shots fired on the inside. All the Saints still full health as of this moment. A little bit spread out, but still full health. We do see Juni now here alongside Siri shooting on through. Can they finish the job? They're going to be able to knock the one down, but it's a little bit of an awkward spot considering they just fell. But that is going to get picked up here. Siri going to find the finishing blow. That's going to put Saints now up to eight. They clean up that fight completely. I thought they were just at five, so if they just completely wiped out a team, that's huge. <coughs> All right, Saints don't necessarily have the high ground in this. Uh, Sniper Tower Warp, they can at least keep themselves safe a little bit. Moving on forward here. Keeping an eye on that really, really tall Sniper Tower. We try to see where they're shooting. And try to pick off the guy on the ground, which we did see somebody hopping around in the sands. Blazix might have spotted somebody from above. Gonna try and uh, do a little redecorating to that ceiling. Alright, so the storm's about to get on the move. The chaos time has returned once again here. It's time for game number seven, and to make things even more chaotic, also have a care package looking to get dropped down upon. Might have been even picked up already. One of those teams absolutely risking it to make sure they get that thing. The Saints are going to tunnel themselves on over into the Eye of the Storm, all safe for the time being. Can they find any picks onto anybody, or are they just going to play it safe? They need two more eliminations to cap out on points in regards to eliminations. Then from there, they can strictly just worry about trying to finish this game. Shot fired from window to window, barely going to miss the player. Lots of players just falling just as this, uh, this storm is moving down. We are down to 25 now. You're left in the game. Siri and the rest of the Saints on the move. Try and pressure this tower. They want to have the high ground this time by. Blazix leading the charge now. Pushing forward. Saints not going to be splitting up this time. Blazix trying to make the call from the top. Juni kind of getting peppered from multiple directions. Not taking any bullets though. Not as of yet anyway. <coughs> now that they have the high grounds, they can probably... Get the good angles into some of the buildings without ceilings. Anyone else trying to make a sniper tower will be in an absolute world of hurt. Storm still moving, however. And it will be getting extremely small moving on forward here.
Oh, one of the players are trying to make a run for it, not going to make it out alive. That is going to be the knockdown there from Lasix. And Siri going to find himself another, takes him down, and knocks him out. So it's going to be elimination number nine. Saints just need one more to get the full 20. Oh, and there's so many people running for it. This is an absolute field day for the Saints if they can get an opportunity. That's always what's so chaotic about these end game scenarios. They catch the one player who is in the in the sand, and now they're able to pepper so much damage across the board. Some of these little pokes and prods may feel like it doesn't necessarily matter, like, oh, they'll just heal it off. But any healing that any team has to do right here, right now, is going to prevent them from possibly winning the late game when it comes down to the healing standoff. Which, granted, Saints right now, at least for Siri, he has a couple of those cans and splash it across the board onto everybody. Does not have any sort of burst healing, though, for himself, really. No, um... No first day that he can sit down on or anything like that. No fish. Storm will be on the move once again here. Siri was getting pressured for a second. Now we have the jump pad coming on out. Saints are going for it. Really trying to cross a massive amount of distance in a very, very short time. A risky play, but looks like because of their positional advantage, they will be able to take advantage of it for at least a little bit longer. Being able to get all the way across into the storm pretty much unharmed. Now they get the open season onto everybody. A little bit of damage here and there on multiple players, which again... Of course, you may not be finding yourself the kill shots, but really at this point, Saints probably aren't too worried about the kill shots. They want to finish this session with a victory. Some big damage coming out here from Siri onto one of the players from below. Not enough to finish them off. There is a kill shot, though. That is going to be the quota met here for St. Clair. Now they're at 11 eliminations, so 20 points on the board for them. Now how long can they hang on? But how appropriate the Saints with the bird's eye view are absolutely controlling this end game scenario. 14 players left to go. Make that 13. One player knocked down, but not out just yet. They are going to find the kill shot. What does he have that they want? How about a legendary sniper? No, it's all about the bounce pad. They want the mobility, and they're going to keep themselves in the game that way. And as soon as he gets it, right back up to the high ground once again, trying to get the jump onto this player who's looking to challenge them. Trying to meet them here head on in the high grounds. Lasix trying to get him with the shotgun. Not going to quite find it just yet. Ten players remaining. One player off the side is going to get dropped. Solid shots there from Siri. He's going down low to try and take down another one. They're keeping themselves going. All the Saints are still like 95% health or higher. Doing a fantastic job of keeping themselves out of the storm. Not taking any chip damage in the slightest. It's getting down towards the end to the point where the storm is just going to be pretty much everywhere. One more down. Saints around the corner. Six players left. So only three left. They're going to find one. Siri is going to go down. He has none of the healing, however. He just went in aggressively. Junis is going to be going down as well. Lasix, I think he's in a 1v1 to finish this one off. Can we see the finish here? Lasix versus, I think, one other. Yep, it's a one-on-one -on -one to finish things off. What does Lasix has? He has so much healing. He can out-heal this. He's going to find the one player. And that's it! The Saints get the victory royale on the final round of the session. Huge play. I love what I saw there from St. Clair. Beautifully done. Lasix going to get the victory royale. And holy moly, that's going to end the air night with just below 400 points. And holy smokes, what a way to finish things off. After the couple rounds that we were seeing there from the St. Clair squad, I wasn't 100% sure that uh, that they are going to be able to do it there, but they were able to completely just front load all of their healing at the very end there onto Lasix. And that fact that he got that one extra shotgun shot into the, <coughs> into the player. Granted, it was still shields, 
So probably, like to be completely honest, he was probably eating so much Storm that it did not matter at the end. Because of course, Storm does not care about your shields. It just eats your health directly. And Lasix and the Sinclair squad able to get the victory here tonight. Of course, in the chat, says, Max Limbs is 20. Yes, Max Limbs is 20 points, but each kill is worth 2 points. So that's why I was saying that once they get 10, that's why it's the thing. What, what it says in the game compared to what it said in the rulebook is two completely different things. And I've just been going off of what I've been seeing here in the endgame client. So that is what I've been doing there. Oh, I think they were just trying to show me their placements, and I'd absolutely miss it here. So, just a moment. We're going to try and figure out where the Saints finished off here tonight after a long but exciting night of Fortnite. To have gone so long without casting a lot of Fortnite to then doing seven rounds in a row is absolutely insane, but I absolutely loved it here today. Yeah, so 390 points is what they finished off here. 106 of them being based off of eliminations. 274 being based off of their placements themselves. And I want to see those predictions again. Where did you guys... Wow. 60% of you are so 50, 59% of you. Thought the Saints were going to get themselves to Victory Royale here on the final matchup. And sure enough, you were correct. Good call. And solid job there, of course, to the St. Clair squad. Doing it for the fans who, who believed in them. Getting the victory at the very tail end. Right there for a second. Just trying to see what... Uh, the actual placement was because unlike other leagues this actually updated right away and there you go now that i see that the stream has caught up to the match everybody who successfully asked for or bet on the victory there we go let's go that that was for us. Why, thank you, Lasix. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> and thank you for doing it for the fans. Of course, one more let's go moment there for the St. Clair squad. Absolutely love to see it. Okay, I swear I'm almost complete in regards to where this go. Play versus trios. Event details. Session leaderboard. Where did y'all finish up? There we go. <laughs> From 10th to top 5 as of this moment anyway. There's probably still a couple matches going, so that very well may change. But as of right now, that Victory Royale, those eliminations, that was the exact kind of game that St. Clair needed. Bumped them up a bunch of positions. And at least right now, bumping them to the top 5 may end up falling to like maybe like 6th or 7th or something if there's a game still going. But still a fantastic showing here for our Saints in this Play vs. Preseason. And I look forward to seeing what our Saints squad can continue to do here on Wednesday nights for the Play vs. Regular Season, which starts next week. Now, again, in regards to matches happening in the near future, one more time, let's take a look at this schedule, of course. We do have 6 o'clock tomorrow, NECC Overwatch Regular Season action. Then on Friday at 9, we return to the Collegiate R6 for some more winter regular season action. Then Saturday, 3 o'clock. No more double header on Saturday, but that's A-OK. -okay. We still have all the action we need here from the C-Law League of Legends at 3, of course. Sunday, looking forward to seeing the Counter-Strike team bounce back after a rough one in Nace. But of course, they're going to be taking on the Face It CSGO Contenders League, seeing where they can go from there, 5 o'clock there. Monday at 7, be sure to join us for the Upsurge Minor League. We have completed the perfect regular season, going completely flawless in our group. Now, can we continue that into playoffs? Would definitely love to see it. And then, of course, still plenty, plenty more matches here on the Saints channel. So make sure you are followed on to the Twitch channel, as well as to our Twitter, to make sure you catch all the results and all the news regarding St. Clair, uh, Clair Saints, the esports team. 
moving forward into basically close to the halfway point in the season. It's not necessarily the halfway point. Like some of these these uh, leagues are just starting up, but a few of them are also having playoffs. So it's like summer fresh things are starting. It's weird. But anyway, it doesn't mean that it's going to be any less exciting, though. Still plenty of content around the corner. And make sure to also catch our YouTube channel as well. We've been doing extra, extra work to make sure that we can get uh, match highlights up and running here, which I think this, this Fortnite match is actually going to have some match highlights as well. So you do not want to miss those. And then very, very shortly, do have a bunch of player interviews coming up that I just need to get time to edit so that's going to be right around the corner as well so i hope you look forward to that and sub to our youtube channel to make sure you don't miss a beat here on st Clair saints uh content <laughs> words it's been a long night and i'm absolutely drained of course my name is dan banner also known as mr danner it's your producer here for the st Clair saints varsity sports team and i thank you for joining me for this awesome night of Fortnite, and i look forward to it again next Wednesday, but I also look forward to the match we do have tomorrow for NECC Overwatch. Be sure to join me then at 6.30. I'll see you tomorrow for it. Take care and have a good night, everybody.